Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Karuna and today I'm going to show you how to prepare Kajaya. Kajaya is one of my favorite sweet dish and it's also one of the important sweets which is mostly prepared during Diwali festival especially in South India. It's known by many different names such as Adirasam, Ariselu etc. But in Karnataka it's known as Kajaya. So let's take a look at the ingredients to prepare this wonderful sweet and let's get started. You will need 2 cups of rice soaked in water for about 4 hours, 1 cup of powdered or grated jaggery, oil for frying, half cup water to melt the jaggery, 1 tablespoon of poppy seeds and 2 tablespoons of ghee. In order to prepare the dough, drain the water through a colander so that you just have the soaked rice. Now take a tray lined with a clean kitchen towel and just spread the rice over the towel. Once you have spread all the rice on the towel, just leave this in a shady place for about an hour so that any remaining water is absorbed by the towel. Basically we need to grind this rice to a fine powder and for that we need this rice to be 75% dry. After about an hour when all the water is completely absorbed, it's time to grind this rice to a fine powder. I'll just use a grinder to grind this rice. Once you've transferred the rice to a mixer or a grinder, we have to grind this rice to a fine powder. I've ground this to a fine powder now and I'll use this to prepare the dough for kajaya. In order to prepare jaggery syrup for the dough, heat a pan on a medium to low flame, add half cup of water and one cup of jaggery. And we have to boil this mixture until we get a one string consistency. So I'll let this mixture boil for about few minutes on a medium to low flame. After about five to six minutes, this jaggery syrup is boiled completely. In order to check if this syrup has got a one string consistency, you have to just take a tiny bit of the syrup between two fingers and just try to stretch it between your fingers. You'll see a string and that is when you know the syrup is ready. At this stage, turn the heat to its lowest setting and start adding the rice flour until we make a firm soft dough. When the mixture is of this consistency, add one tablespoon of ghee and mix well. Once the dough is of this consistency, grease a bowl with some ghee and just transfer it into the greased bowl. Pour the remaining ghee over this dough and we have to let this dough rest for about 2 hours before we start frying the kajayas. After about 2 hours or when it's time to fry the kajayas, heat some oil on a medium to low flame. While our oil is getting hot, let's get the kajayas ready for frying. So here I have the dough which is sitting for about 2 hours. I'll just crease my hands with some ghee on this cutting board. I have spread a plastic sheet. I have just used a ziplock and I have cut it. I will even grease that with some ghee. Once I have greased both my palm and the plastic sheet, I will just squeeze out a lemon sized dough. Something of this size and I will just flatten it out between my palms. Don't flatten the kajayas very thin. This size would be sufficient. Before I start frying the kajayas, I will get at least 5 kajayas ready for frying. Once you have some 5 kajayas ready, you can sprinkle some poppy seeds on top of each of them. You can even use the same seeds as well. Once you are done on one side, you can just flip this over and do the same thing on the back side. So now these kajayas are ready 
and it's time to fry them. In order to check if the oil is ready for frying, just drop a tiny bit of dough and if the dough comes up easily then that means that the oil is sufficiently hot and we can start frying our kajjayas now. I'll just remove this tiny dough and I'll start frying the kajjayas one by one. Make sure you fry these kajjayas on a medium to low flame. These kajjayas will tend to puff up like a puri and that is fine. These kajjayas will tend to absorb little oil so you might have to take another ladle and just press it down a bit so that any extra oil is just squeezed out. Once you start frying the kajjayas, if the jaggery syrup was not of right consistency then your kajjayas might crumble. So at that time you just have to stop frying, add some boiled milk, some regular rice flour to the dough and knead the dough again and let it rest for about 2 more hours and you can start preparing the kajjayas. Finally these kajjayas are ready. These kajjayas are prepared during most of the Indian festivals and using 2 cups of soaked rice we will be able to prepare approximately 10 kajjayas. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you ever try out this recipe, please let me know how it turns out. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.